Good morning. I'm happy that you're here with us to worship on this Lord's Day. Let's join with us as we watch and learn God's Word. We learn, and I learn, and I share with you, and we share with each other. We help each other learn God's Word. God's Word is strong and powerful than my Word. Let's worship and praise the Lord. Let's join in singing. Let's join in praises to Him. Open my spiritual eyes and help me understand your truths. You teach me. Give me your wonderful love. Can this command make me free? Quietly now I wait for you. Ready, God, your want, obey. Open the eyes, inspire Holy Spirit. Open my spiritual ear and help me understand your truth. You sing clear while your story comes to me. Everything falls quiet now. I wait for you. Ready, God, your want, obey. Open the ear, inspire me, Holy Spirit. Open my hands, help me communicate the happy gospel story announce. Open my heart and let me prepare. Love with your children, now share. Quietly now I wait for you. Ready, God, your want, obey. Open my heart, inspire me, Holy Spirit. Open my eyes. Open your hands and open your ears to his word. This picture, this one person is talking and the other person is trying to guess what she's saying. The picture, the deaf sign, what it means. D-E-A-F. Another man is walking with his dog and his cane. What does this mean? That he's blind. Deaf and blind. This verse is from Isaiah 29:18. In that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of their gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. This is our lesson today, this morning. Once you had been deaf and blind. The introduction, another verse. The one we just read, you notice that this is a different translation. In that day the deaf shall hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity it means darkness and sadness and out of darkness let's look at the EVD English version for the deaf the deaf shall hear the words of the book and the blind will see through the darkness and fog In the wintertime, you get in the car, 
and the wind is full of snow, we can't see. It's not clear. So we turn the engine on and we warm it up and it's better. The Bible tells us about in Old Testament verses and New Testament verses about deaf and blind. The question, were you deaf and were you blind? I'm still deaf, but I'm not blind. The other person might say, I'm blind but not deaf. As once you had been deaf once before and blind, physically deaf. A hearing person might become deaf. They would say, I saw before, but now but I'm blind. physical of the deaf and blind. Did God make the deaf and blind? In the Old Testament in Exodus 4 11 during Moses time Moses was before the burning bush and God had called Moses to lead his people out of slavery. And Moses gave many excuses that he couldn't talk, that he wasn't skilled. And God said this, who made man's mouth? And who can make a man deaf? or not able to speak. Who can make a man blind? Who can make a man able to speak? I am the one who can do all these things. I am Yahoo. In the Old Testament, there were deaf people in the Old Testament. They don't, it doesn't say much about them, but there were deaf people in Moses' time. And there were blind people. And God had a purpose. God made the law to concern the deaf and blind. In the Old Testament, in Leviticus 19.14, as Moses was leading the people out of slavery, they had laws. He made many different laws. For the priests and the Pharisees, they had a lot of laws. And this verse talks about the deaf and blind. You must not curse a deaf man, you must not put something in front of a blind person to make him fall. But you must respect your God. I am the Lord. He says, don't curse the deaf people. Don't mock them. Don't make fun of them. Don't say they are stupid. A long time ago, I was in a, at the store and I was parked and I was looking in the trunk and there was a man who came around and was talking and I didn't hear him. And he said, <laughs> that man stuck up. So my wife knew I was deaf. And he maybe thought I was stuck up. He didn't know I was deaf. He just 
some people see that people and they might make fun of them or they see a blind person and they might try to trip them up God shows his power a miraculous care of deaf people and blind people through Jesus. As Jesus heals the deaf people. How many we know there are many. There's only two verses, but there are many that he opened their ears. In Mark 7, 31 through 37, F, let's say all. While he was there, some people brought a man to him. This man was deaf and couldn't talk clearly. The people begged Jesus to put his hands on the man to heal him. Jesus led the man away from the people to be alone with him. Jesus put his fingers in the man's ears. Then Jesus spit and touched the man's tongue. Jesus looked up to the sky and made a breathing sound. Jesus said to the man, Ephapha, this means open. When Jesus did this, the man was able to hear. The man was able to use his tongue and spoke clearly. He was excited because he could hear and speak clearly. He could, you know, sometimes we practice saying mom or dad so we can talk clearly. He could talk clearly. It was natural for the people to be excited. Verse 37, the people were really amazed. The people said, Jesus does everything in a good way. Jesus makes deaf people to hear. The people that can't talk, Jesus makes them able to talk. The people were amazed. And Jesus also we know this many verses where he heals blind people. John 9, 1 and following. Jesus, before the apostles asked Jesus, this man is blind since birth been blind since birth. What caused his blindness? Jesus said this man sin, not his father or his mother's sin. He was born blind so God could use him to show what wonderful things he did, he can do. the dirt and made 
made some mud with it. Jesus put the mud on the man's eyes. Jesus told the man, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means sent. So the man went to the pool. He washed and came back. Now he was able to see. He washed and he could see. Some people had seen this man begging before. These people and the man's neighbors said, look, is this the same man that always sits and begs? Some people said, yes, he is the one. But other people said, no. He is not the same man. He only looks like him. I am the man that was blind before. He was excited. He was born blind, but he grew up, and now he could see. Like if you don't hear a bird sing, or you don't see things, and then your eyes are open and you see, and you're excited. God can do anything in his power to cause a person to close or to open his ear and mouth and close or open his eyes. For example, someone born hearing and they become badly sick and they lose their hearing. Or someone with sight grows up and they have something that causes them to go blind. This just happened. An example is Saul who later became Paul. He believed under Moses' time and he followed the law. And he was very strict and he was mean to the Christians. He followed Moses' law. And he was very educated. He wasn't a Pharisee or a teacher, but he followed the law. He decided more and more Christians were running away to Damascus. And he had a paper that signed that he would go there and he would capture them. So he was on his way with his soldiers. And he saw a bright light and heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? And he became blind. He couldn't see the floor. He couldn't see. He had to pray for healing for his sight that the scales would fall from his eyes. Ila, Moss, and Cyprus became blind. In the East Central Asia, there was an island in Turkey. And the man, Ila, Moss, was a missionary traveling 
to this island. And he met another man in the town that was a ruler, who was a king. And they talked about the gospel. Zachariah. Zachariah couldn't talk. He was very sad and depressed. The husband and wife, they had no children. couldn't talk because he doubted until the birth of his son John. He could hear, but he couldn't speak because he doubted. And after nine months, after the baby was born, he could speak. God had told him when the baby was born to name him John. And Zachariah didn't want to but his wife did. So he listened to his wife. Even animals. And Balaam, the story of Balaam, you know, he was riding a donkey. And he was riding. He couldn't go in to the city on a shoe foot to get through this door. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. God controls everything. Wow, the Lord is all power as possible everything everything that he rules all the animals like Noah took Noah took all the animals on board the ark many different things God rules and has the power to do so figurative about blind and death in your spiritual you were deaf and blind before for example in the Bible Israel often refuse to listen and refuse to see often in the Old Testament and the New Testament it was the same and God said in Romans 11 7 
the other people became hard and refused to listen to God, like it is written in the scriptures. They refused to listen, and God caused the people to fall asleep. They were blind. God closed their eyes so that they could not see the truth. And God closed their ears so that they could not hear the truth. This continues until now. From the Old Testament to now, Moses traveled and the people complained. And Moses chastised them and he showed them. He, they were miracles and the people still complained. They were stubborn. Their eyes were closed and their ears were closed. They were deaf and like blind. Now we before were deaf and blind. We didn't know God's word. The prophet many times told the people that they were stubborn and they refused to listen and accept his word. When the time comes, you will cry because of the king you chose. But the Lord will not answer you at that time. At that time, the Israelites wanted a new king for their nation. The Israelites didn't have a king. Many, many years, they had no king for their nation. And they saw the other nations had kings. God was their king, but they wanted a king on their land, a king they could see, and they shouted, God didn't answer. But the people would not listen to Samuel. They said, no, we want a king to rule over us. The prophet warned the people, it didn't matter. They still wanted a king. Many times they were warned and they refused to listen. They were blind and deaf. And Jesus was the same thing in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Jesus said, you have two ears, but you can't hear because you do not listen. And you have two eyes, but you can't see because you don't look. They were deaf and blind. Closing your ears, closing your eyes. Sometimes a mother and a daughter or a mother and a son, they're not doing right. Maybe a teenager that's rebellious and mom's chastising them and they're not listening. They're not listening to what they did wrong. Mm -hmm. And mom might say, look at me. They don't want to pay attention. Don't listen and don't look. Both deaf and blind have the same meaning, not understanding and not doing. Wanting my way, not God's way. My way. Not trusting and following God. Following the world. Blind and deaf, not understanding. Or do not accept the gospel. And do not obey the gospel. They know, but they disobey. They don't have a fully open mind and heart. And they reject the gospel. They're blind and deaf. Stubborn heart or hard heart. It's closed. They do not open the heart and mind to the gospel. They don't accept God's word. 
They were before blind and deaf. Now, they don't want to learn or know about the wonderful gospel. It's important to know and to open our minds for the future. Like, for example, I have a will. Mother and father has a will that they give to the children. There's a will. And it can't be given to anyone else. That will is established, and it's important. A person might say, oh, I don't need that will. They lose. A will helps a mother and father pass on to their children what they want. God's word is wonderful. And the results of life at the end of life, if you don't obey and don't accept, you'll be separated. Once you were deaf and blind, but now you open your ears and open your eyes. As the scriptures of the prophet in the Old Testament, Isaiah 29, 18, the deaf shall hear the words, and the blind will see. Isaiah 35, 5, then the blind people will be able to see again. Their eyes will be opened. Then the deaf people will be able to hear. Their ears will be opened. In the New Testament, when Jesus came, their ears and their eyes began to open. And it's been since. He shows us his work. He shows us. Many people begin to open their eyes and their ears to his word, their hearts. The miracles of Jesus healed the deaf people to be able to hear him and the blind people to be able to see him. It gives us a picture that everyone in the world opens their heart and mind to listen and see the power of Jesus to change. There's no difference between the Jews and the Gentiles. No difference between the free and the slave. No difference between the rich and the poor. No difference between deaf and hearing. No difference between blind and seeing. No difference. All those who listen and see the same gospel of Christ, all who see, those who are blind, they see the gospel of Christ. They can't hear, but they can hear God's word, the Bible. We all can read the Bible and we can listen to God's word. They may enter into the body of Christ, all. It's open to all, the whole world. How? Enter into the body of Christ through the gospel. It's important, it's the key. Believing, having faith in him in Christ. He was born, he died, he went to the cross, and he rose. All these stories we believe. Jesus came for all the people. These verses warn us about sin and the wrong things in our life that we need to change. And faith in Jesus himself. And the result is we get baptized and we enter into the kingdom. All these things were baptized into Christ. First, 
we believe, and then last, we are baptized. And it's the glory of God. He saves us, and he frees us from our sins. Yes, all men, all of them are different cultures, but they still receive the same power of the gospel of Christ to be saved in their soul. We all live in Christ. We can see in our soul once we were blind and deaf, but we changed before we were deaf. But now we hear God's word. I was born deaf. But I got into my mind the word of God. If a person refuses to listen to the word of God and does not obey the gospel, what does this person do? Both the deaf and the hearing is the same. That they would be lost their soul into eternal death if they don't believe or, or disobey the gospel. Hearing, deaf, blind, it doesn't matter. We'll all lose our souls. It is important that everyone, deaf and hearing, needs to open their ears to hear the word of God and open their eyes to see the gospel of Christ in all truth to be stopped to be saved. Don't. Let's not close our ears and eyes, meaning our heart and mind. We need to open our soul and not let it be closed, but open it and not open it and then later close it, but continue always to have it open until the end, till heaven. We have hope of eternal life. We keep continuing to open our ears and eyes every day. Again and again, we open to God's word. We can live, we can learn the word of God as our spiritual life grows. It doesn't matter, we finish all the scriptures again and again, we learn and we share and obey what he teaches us. We read and we continue to be open in our hearts and minds. Don't become deaf and blind. Stay connected to God. Let's sing. Sweet, true hope that's happy in my soul. I know I see Jesus future day. If what dark clouds set over me, I know I see Jesus future day. I know I'll see Jesus on a future day. I know I'll see Jesus future day. Wonderful joy when his face I see. I know I'll see Jesus future day. This is a quote by Mark Twain. He said, kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Kindness, love, loving others. It's important to have open eyes and open ears for the future, for Jesus Christ. If we close our eyes and our ears, we won't see Christ in the future. We'll be separated from God. We need to have an open heart and do together. Let's pray. Loving Father in heaven, 
we all are here together to share about the death and the body and the examples of the spiritual life and how we can understand and our eyes can be open and our ears can be open to see and hear your love and how you show patience and how Christ came and died on the cross so that we could live and how he rose to give us hope and we can look to the future and we cherish you at Christ and we cherish your word you are there and thank you for giving us help to understand in the past we didn't understand it wasn't clear but you opened your secret to us it's open and we know and we thank you for helping us and thank you for helping us share with other people your word if a person is closed we can be kind and we can share and try to break through that wall thank you for your power and stay with us and thank you for your forgiveness in Jesus name Amen for the month heavenly beings continually thank God for this week don't forget how important it is to praise and thank him in Revelation 7, 11, and 12. Put this down and read it this week. And this is all, and thank you for your blessings to be with us, and thank you for, we pray that you will always be safe and keep God in your heart, and bless you, and I love you.